So guys, in today's video, I will teach you how you can track text to water and make the text appear floating in the water, if that makes any sense. And that is a pretty cool effect if you're going for a more cinematic style of video. But for now, that's enough talking. Let's just jump right into Fusion. <laughs> So first of all, before we start this tutorial, a big shout out to Training Weeks. He was kind enough to let me use his drone clips for my tutorial. So in case you guys might want to check him out, I'll left a link to his channel in the description down below. But for now, drag your clip onto the timeline, right click on it, create a new fusion clip, and then hop in the fusion page. The first step is go to media in one, hit shift spacebar, and then search for tracker, and then just add the basic tracker node. So before we start tracking, we got to change some settings on this tracker one. So let's click on it, go to the inspector. If you don't see it in the top right corner there, it says inspector, just click this and then the tracker one comes up. So now we got to change the adaptive mode from none to best match and the match tolerance. Turn this all the way down to 0, 0. .00 something. Now go to operation and change the operation mode from none to corner positioning. When you've done that, there will appear a big red box in your viewer. So now you got your four tracking points, tracker one, two, three, and four. And now let me just explain what this small green box and the big green box is. The small green box is basically where you set your tracking points and the area resolve searches for this tracking point. And in case resolve loses this tracking point, there is this dotted green line basically as a safety backup so when resolve loses track of this it will search all this green dotted area for this specific tracking point so when we know that in the top left corner on those small points and there will appear a gray rectangle that you can click and now you can set your tracking points so i'll set mine in the top right corner into those clouds and set my tracker four on the beach now set my tracker three onto this beach and now set my tracker one into the clouds as well. Something like this looks pretty good to me. So you can even change the size of your tracking points by increase by clicking the lines and then just dragging it in and out. So let me just resize this just a bit because tracking in the clouds when there's not a lot of contrast is kind of hard. So this should work fine. Go to trackers and now just hit this button to track forward from the current frame. Now DaVinci will take some time to track every single frame and the bottom right corner you see the remaining time. So once Resolve finishes tracking, you see a bunch of keyframes in your timeline and now grab a text node and type in whatever text you want change the font to whatever font you like and then connect the output of text one to the foreground of tracker one and you see your text will appear on screen now click on tracker one go to operation and apply mode change this from normal to soft light now go back to text one and resize our text something like this is looking pretty good but keep in mind if you recenter your text don't move it outside of this red box because it will just disappear like you see on screen. So I want my text to be right there. And now I can go to layout, go to rotation, and then change my X rotation to make it a little bit more flat on the C. So then I can change my Y rotation if I want to, and maybe my Z rotation like this. So I'm pretty happy right now, but what else we can do is grab a fast noise node and connect the fast noise node to our text node. Now bump up the detail just a little bit, the contrast a little bit and the brightness a little bit. And now change the angle to 90 degrees. See right up just a little bit and now drag the scale and bump this up to 20. So now go back to the edit page, right click on this clip, render cage fusion output and turn this on on you also can go up to playback render cage and set this to smart once this red line turns blue we can watch this back so make it full screen and just watch this back and this is a pretty good result i think so what the fast noise node does is if you watch into those letters, they are somewhere brighter and somewhere darker. And this will just replicate the waves in the water. So I think this looks pretty good. 
and this is a pretty easy effect that you can recreate. So that is all I got for now. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, please consider leaving a like and a subscribe if you haven't already, but also let me know in the comments down below on what topic you want me to cover in the future. So with that being said, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.